Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. So before starting and working with Ruby, you have to install Ruby software. So for that, go to this link. So open any of your browser and then go to www.ruby-lang.org. So go to this address. Here you can find many links here. You can find the download downloads links here. But if you go to downloads link, here I, this is only available for Mac or Linux. But for other users, so not other users, any user just go to this link and then from here you, you can find the documentation. And if you go below, here you will see installation page. So follow this. So choose these instructions. If you are using Windows, then click this and use this if you are using windows then go to ruby installer and from here you can install and run ruby so it is very simple so if you once install this you will get .exe file you just have to execute it and if you are using mac then it is also straightforward if you use any packages like yum or optkit etc so and everything is listed here so you can use yum install ruby directly also you will use pacman so you can use brew so i i used brew if you already installed brew then you just have to use brew install ruby so this brew and uh, yum all these are the you know open source package installers so if you install this one then uh, anytime you can install any software with less effort so on my Mac, uh, I was unable to show because I was, you know, I got the Ruby by, by default along with my OS. So I couldn't show because I don't want to mess with my system file. So once you download Ruby, then make sure that it is installed. You can do that. If you simply type Ruby, it, it may not give anything. So you can type Ruby hyphen hyphen help or you can do another thing hyphen v for version so it will give you what version of ruby is running on your machine so that is ruby 2.3 so uh, make sure that the latest version is running so even if you get this help menu it means ruby is already installed on that that's that's fine even uh, if you don't want to install the Ruby on your local machine, you will have so many online editors. I will list them in in any of the resources or uh, check the system. Uh, I mean, check the next lecture. Maybe I will add the all the available online IDEs so that you can practice easily. And once you install or download the Ruby, so make sure to set the path variable. The setting path variable is very easy. Just use the command export and then path so then you can use a dollar path so along with that you tr make sure to give your i mean the path where you install your ruby so in my case by default the ruby will go to user hyphen and ruby followed by bin so make sure to give this bin path so so that you can so whenever you type ruby hyphen v it will give the options otherwise your system don't know what is ruby until you set the system path so i think this lecture is clear on installation or setting up the local environment if you have any questions please uh, text uh, message me or you can comment on the video so that i can help you with manual installation so in the next lecture, we will see how to use Ruby. Thank you, everyone.